my name is Christina Previtt. I am one of the co-owners of Stave Off Physiotherapy and Exercise Facility. So we are an outpatient physiotherapy clinic. We have three full-time physiotherapists. And then we are also a gym. So we, we run small group classes and do personal training out of our facility. So we're kind of midtown Kingston. We've been open for about four years. And we have definitely had to make quite a few adjustments and pivots in light of COVID-19. So our gym has been closed for about two weeks now. We discussed with a lot of the local gyms in town regarding what we thought the best avenue to take was. As a business owner, you want to be financially viable, but you also want to be socially responsible. And we have probably over 100, 120 people who come through our facility each day. And so as things were starting to unfold with COVID-19, as we were starting to see more cases be introduced in Canada and have them being linked to different things like travel, it started to not sit well with my husband and I around what our course of action should be. So we started by taking extra precautions in regards to cleaning, but as of about two weeks ago on, I guess we're in week three now on the Monday, it just didn't sit well with us. And so we decided to voluntarily close both the gym and the physiotherapy clinic in response to COVID-19. And so if David, did you want me to talk about some of the, the things that we've kind of done since then? Uh, yeah, probably uh, the what kind of the stuff are you, are you currently doing now with uh, gym stuff and yeah. Okay. yeah awesome okay so in response to that what is a huge benefit to stave off is that we are a huge community and for a lot of people that is a big social piece for myself included i am the biggest extrovert in the entire world and so social distancing can be really challenging and so my husband and i have started to implement a couple of things on the gym side of our business as well as the physiotherapy side in order for us to try and stay financially viable and also to keep our community together. And so a couple of things that we have done is that we have started hosting online classes. So, so through Zoom, which we are doing this interview through right now, we are running classes multiple times per day. So by downloading the app, people can jump on to the call and have a live class. One of the really cool things about that is that everybody can put their webcams on so they can still have coaching. It's let us tap into a bit of our creativity around people not having the same equipment. So obviously there aren't barbells and machines and things that we can utilize at home, but if you have bands, dumbbells, today we did our group class with our main workout equipment being a towel and we got people to do different slides and movements with a towel at home which hopefully everybody has and so we've been able to be creative and then we've taken those online classes and put them onto YouTube so if people are still working or they aren't able to access the class when we're running it live they can still have access to different programming to allow them to still kind of be included with the community some of the other things that we've done just to kind of harbor some of our community and get to see everyone is we have implemented a, a class called Sip and Stretch. So for half an hour, you just kind of hang out with everybody, have a drink, not saying what that drink is, it can be whatever you want. And we are just going through some yoga, some gentle stretching. A lot of people have been spending more time sitting and they're a little bit less active than they were before because of some of the social distancing measures. And so it was, it's super fun and it's a great way for us to see everyone. And it always makes me feel a little bit more connected and just a bit happier from a mental health side of things, just seeing everyone and connecting for short periods of time. And then other things that we've implemented is a health challenge. So we are doing kind of a scorecard every day to help people with accountability because some of the things that we've heard from our community, from the gym side, 
is that people are having a hard time feeling motivated. There's nobody, like the gym is kind of that motivation, right? That coach is saying, how are you doing? How are you eating? All those types of things. And so we've implemented a scorecard where we ask, you know, did you drink enough water today? Have you limited your amount of alcohol? Did you get enough sleep? All these different things. And at the end of the week, we've bought gift cards to try and support other local small businesses. And so we're just kind of giving out gift cards for the people that have had the most amount of points at the end of the week. And then from the physio side of things, sorry, I'm totally long-winded here. From the physio side of things, we've completely pivoted to an online telehealth uh, model of practice. And what that means is that instead of coming in one-on-one -on -one to the clinic, because what the uh, Center for Disease Control, the CDC and the WHO have said is that healthcare interactions, especially with vulnerable individuals, the amount of personal protective equipment should be gown, gloves, and mask. And you should be assuming that everyone is positive. And so that obviously we didn't have that access. So we've kind of pivoted to a telehealth model. And what that means is that we just send somebody a secure link. So it is completely up to code with the Personal Health Information Protection Act, key HIPAA, which is around protection of your personal health information. And you log into an online waiting room and we connect via webcam, which is really great because you don't have to download anything. You just have to click on the link. It's super easy. I haven't had any of my clients so far have trouble accessing the system. So you would just set me up. I would be like this little floating head in your physio at treatment or assessment. And um, we would kind of go through, if you're doing an assessment, we would do the exact same thing, asking about what's going on with your injuries. But then I would be getting you to do a bunch of movements in front of the webcam to see what hurts, what doesn't. And then from a treatment perspective, it's been really insightful because being able to see what you have available to you in regards to an exercise program, we can get you started on some tips and tricks for self-management. And we're gonna be running some virtual workshops as well. We do a lot of community-based workshops here, which we obviously can't do. And so we're gonna start pivoting that into an online platform. Yeah. Would you uh, consider doing this for the future too, even after the doing it like online, more online stuff too. Like most businesses, I think about doing more online, but yeah. keeping more online stuff. Yeah, that's a really good question. So from the gym side of things, we definitely want to maintain obviously our, our presence in the community, but we do have a lot of remote coaching options, which are probably going to be able to continue. And so it could be possible for us to maintain some of that online presence there. Probably the biggest thing that we're going to be maintaining is our telehealth. So one of the biggest changes that COVID has really started to accelerate was allowing, so in, so, sorry, to come back a bit, telehealth up until a couple of weeks ago, it was unsure whether your insurance pr provider would be able to cover your physiotherapy treatment via telehealth. And it's because it's a new modality. It's a lot bigger in the US than it is here. And in Canada, we have used it for remote access to cities, for example, far north who have issues with access to healthcare providers in general, just based on just different transportation issues. And because of COVID now, I, as of the time of this recording, I know that Grace, Great West Life and Sun Life are both accepting telehealth physiotherapy for reimbursement for their private insurance. And so what that has done has opened up the capacity for us to see people who one may have transportation issues. So for example, if you're a person who doesn't drive and you live 30 to 40 minutes out of the city, we could still see you via telehealth, even if you don't have access to transportation. Or if you know, for example, that um, I work with a lot of older adults. So my PhD is in exercise and aging and you wanted to see me remotely and you live in Niagara Falls, I could still see you for physical therapy and that could still be potentially covered by your extended healthcare coverage. And so probably that side sect of our business, that telehealth piece is the bigger area that's going to continue. 
um, after COVID has hopefully run its course with minimal impact and we are back running full steam ahead. Uh, uh, like uh, just maybe a comment on the fact that like how did the everybody that like got joined you online like 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 at classes how did they so re react to everything what was the so sort of that reaction to everybody joining the online yeah yeah so i think that nobody in our entire world can say that covid hasn't impacted them in a variety of ways whether it be directly because of for example like us we've had to close down a business that we have put blood sweat and tears in to try and keep afloat and the stress that is associated with that to people who know people with layoffs all those types of things so my husband and i who own stave off together we have just been so overwhelmed with the outpour of support for stave off both on the side the physiotherapy side and on the gym side our community has really voiced together. So we have a, a members Facebook group that we are going to be stronger as a community because of this. And that honestly, in the first three weeks, that has just shown to be so true. There has been so many people just kind of reaching out and connecting. And there was a little bit of that initial hurdle potentially of the technology side of things, but it's, it's almost been like we've, we've just transitioned so seamlessly to an online platform and yeah, we, we just, just had to pivot and our community has said, all right, this is what we're all going to do right now. We're all going to connect this way. And so it's been really wonderful. Like we can have 25, 30 people on an online class and you see dogs and cats and, and kids and they're all just like, everybody is just trying to move and everyone's just trying to do the best they can. And it's been really wonderful to see. And Nick and I, we have an 11 month old and she is usually squealing in the back of the videos and our dogs are around too. So it's been, it's been awesome to really see the response of the community and, and the support has been extremely, it's made us feel extremely grateful for everything that we have with our business. For sure. <music>